Hi, it's Marcus again. Um, today I'm tonight I'm going to be showing you how to, I mean, how I do my nighttime skincare routine. Um, today it's been very windy. Uh, I was at Dalton Park today, um, and you know how if you and if you've been there, you'll know how windy it can get. It's like the Chicago of of the Northeast. Um. It's, uh, yeah, and you might have seen on Instagram as well that my skin has been going through a dry day. My skin's dry combination, so during the winter or the colder seasons, it can get very dry. And today, my cheeks felt, they just looked like they were dry, larger pores. I was seeing fine lines and... What looked like wrinkles under my eyes, it was, it was just horrendous. I mean, sometimes walking around shops, these lightens don't help, especially when you go to a beauty outlet or somewhere like that. But I think they do that deliberately because I think the idea behind it is if you think, if you see yourself in an unflattering lighten, you're more likely to buy products because you think to yourself, you think to yourself, well, I certainly do. Oh my God, I better buy more, more skincare products or I'm going to be continue to look like this. But that's the thing, you see. That light, lighten is not flattering. For, for example, if I'm under like a yellow lighten or something that is more radiant, my dark circles actually look better. Like in this lighten here, perhaps, I mean... I'm filming and it looks all right whilst I'm filming, but who knows what you'll see. Um, maybe part part, delu part delusional. Oh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I find that uh, when I'm in more radiant lighting, I look better. Like my skin is more dewy, but there are certain lightens that can make your skin look drier, even if it isn't. And it's it's cruel. Some some lightens can be very cruel to certain faces. And one of you know these you know these awful like, halogen lights or something that they have from the ceiling that they just they don't do me any justice because my face is pale, and I've got I get dark circles from there and here, and it's. And they show up terribly in lighting like that. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to be taking you through the routine next, guys. Just give me a second. Okay, so, as you might be able to tell, I have had a shower because my hair is slicked back. And I've just used this, uh, it's in the college. It's the, uh, I think it's called Milkshake, the brand Milkshake. And it was silver sham. I think it was a silver shampoo or conditioner or something. I mix it in with a, with a, with my normal conditioner and just put it in. It's a little bit like Draco Malfoy at the moment. <laughs> okay, right, so. I'm going to use a hydrating cleansing oil, just like I did in the morning skin carriage. I'm not showing you the right way. Okay. There. Rub that in. And I'm going to keep this in for a few moments. And I'll come back to you guys. I think the mistake I made last night as well was that I did a double cleanse last night. I think with my skin type, you're definitely not meant to do a double cleanse when it comes to do you know the colder seasons because you know, you know it kind of dries out the skin more. Certainly in my case. I think you just got to remember that every skin type is different and not every routine that you see on YouTube, including mine, is going to be right. That's what I've learned. Um, even that, you know, Korean skincare, I mean, double cleanse is just not going to work for me. There, there are certain brands that I've used that L'Oreal, I, I just could not cleanse with that every single day. I couldn't even cleanse with Nivea every single day. They, I mean, my skin gets so dry when it comes to certain cleansers that I just can't use them every day. 
I'm doing the upward stroke, so I just do a glide down. Just like we do in college. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I'll let that drink let me face drink that in for a second. Sorry that camera paused too too early there. <laughs> uh I'm gonna let me face drink that in for a few moments. Okay, and with these these damp cotton plates, I'm gonna go over my face with them. Just to rinse it all off. Looking at the mirror ahead of me as well. Oh god, that's dripping. <laughs> dripping wet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like my hair. <laughs> but I wanted to get this tutorial up for you guys. That's why my hair's soaking wet. So I don't look the best at the moment. But at least you know what I look like with slick hair now. Slick back hair. I'm nuts. <laughs> God. And if you think that's nuts, just wait until you see my Pokemon doll collection. I've got loads. <laughs> okay. Some of you might think that my tutorials are very, or tutorial issues, are very long, but there are plenty of beauty gurus and um, people who have worked in the beauty industry who do YouTube, whose, hour, whose videos are like over an hour long. So, and they've got like thousands of subscribers, so they must be doing something right. So, for me to do that, what would be the difference? That's what I say to myself anyway. Oh, and yeah, um, I don't have any fancy uh, gimmicks or anything on the top corner of the screen. But if you do like my videos, you can subscribe to the bottom and leave a like as well if you would like to. That's just a, that's just a suggestion. That's not a... You must. <laughs> it would be nice, but you don't have to. God, I talk shite. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so next, I'm going to use the... Do you know what? Hang on a second, I'm going to get a different toner. Okay. So, you might remember me telling you, and I'll, I'll link the video of the morning skincare routine below, if if you would like to see it, um, that, and I, I think I've told you this before, but anyway, I'll use this if my skin's dry, and this if my skin's oily. Because my skin's been dry, I'm using this one. Because, oh. I have had spots breaking out, but they become, you know, you know when they get on the crusty side. <laughs> or the, the dry side. This putting this on. My voice is getting higher again. That's how I can tell this, this flu is well and truly going away. Although when I try and sing high notes, I'm still not 100% there yet. <laughs> Couldn't resist. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, you can just do that. Right. <clears throat> it's that. Um going to rinse my hands because I don't want any toner on whilst I'm putting on moisturiser. Oh and by the way guys, a disclaimer. What I said about the uh, the beauty outlet earlier was just my take on it. Okay. Because I find that their lighting is not flattering to my face. There might be some of you who can relate to me. 
if you find the lighting there flattering, I'm happy for you, but it's not my cup of tea. I find their lighting to be very... It, it just makes me face look old and, I don't know, it might be real. <laughs> he might be showing me in the, in the real way. I don't know, but I'd like to think it isn't because I don't want to look old. Certainly not at 21, nearly 22. But I'll keep myself on the 21 zone because that's where I am. Thank you very much. <laughs> and, uh, okay, so I'll move on to the moisturising. I don't usually use pro 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 ugh, products with perfume in, but um, since my skin's been really dry, I can use this. And I noticed that because, and it's, it's weird, because usually products with perfume in make my skin flare up. But this has been very good um, today, of all days. So I'm going to apply this just all over. Uh, I'm just going to apply it like a mask because my skin needs it. Just whack it on. <laughs> Who cares? It's got to go on like a mask anyway. Because I'm telling you, when I put it on like a mask earlier, my skin just absorbed the whole thing. Very, quite quickly actually. So... Certainly on the cheek area. My forehead, it, it just it just sits on top mostly. So I don't need as much up there. Put it on the neck. Whack it on the neck. Go on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'll find I'm absolutely nuts. You also might have uh, noticed that I am a compliment fisher. Oh, yes. I do it all the time. When I'm in college, I'm like, oh, people are usually shocked. How It's like... When I first went to college, people were shocked at how old I was, hoping that the person that I'm talking to will be as well. <laughs> yeah, I must be mad. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to have to um, rub this cream in, this moisturising cream in, off camera, because this is just... <laughs> it's looking crazy. <laughs> but... I am crazy. <laughs> it's just me. I even do use a touch of this below my eye. I know I probably shouldn't, but it's my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's my routine. I'm going to name it my nighttime skincare routine so that no one can judge me. Because it's mine. My choice. My life. I've got my own theories of skincare and I'm going to continue to use them. I'm my own guinea pig. <laughs> you can show me the book, you can read me the rules, but if they don't work for me, I ain't going to do it. <laughs> it's as simple as that. <clears throat> I was working on reception today and I got a distinction on me ass assessment. And I'm very, very pleased with that because I've never, ever worked on reception in my life i to rub the rest of this into my hands because my hands get re red raw. I might have mentioned before about my OCD and how that's caused me to wash my hands too much as an 11 year old and caused dry hands. But mind you, they've been baby soft all day. I'm impressed. Um, anyway, I was very, very impressed by how I managed to get a distinction in that because I honestly thought I would fail the whole thing. I'm not going to lie, I really did. I mean, I don't know. I think I have a lot of self-doubt. I think that's what it is when I'm... I shouldn't. And that's the message I'm trying to portray to you guys. Don't doubt yourselves. Be who you are. Let no one else tell you otherwise. And I've experienced that with... I've learned that from dating and with love more than anything else. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you would like me to start talking about um, <clears throat> emotions uh, and I can tell you some stories that I've, I've, I've been through without, name, without naming names because I don't want to get into trouble but uh, I, yeah, I could tell you some stories and some experiences that I've had if you would like me to. I, I mean I'm not 
I don't, I don't intend to put dirty laundry on. I mean, any me dirty laundry on on YouTube, but. If it helps other people, I would like to do it. Just let me know in the comment section below if you would like me to do that. But they have to be respectful comments or eh, they are cut off. Deleted. Nada. Senior, uh, sayonara, I need senorita. <laughs> I don't even know why. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so next, I'm going to be applying an eye balm. Just let me find it. Okay. So once again guys, I'm going to get this, use this uh, roll-on eye gel, no, eye roll-on gel. It's, um, I think I'm almost out of this because I'm finding it more difficult to apply this. Hope I'm not running out of it because I love this stuff. It actually brightens in my eyes a little. So maybe it has some whitening ingredients in it, I don't even know, but... For it to do it like that, it must do it must have something in it, or something that we don't know about. Cause, I mean, it's not doing any harm. Although I will say that eye balms don't do as much when it's you know. I don't find it does they do as much of a good job when it's cut when it's cut in a colder season because it's just like I don't know hissing the wind basically. It just. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't want to, you know, stay on. And I find that, that me fine lines and wrinkles look, ugh. So, hopefully not, but, uh, I don't know. I think I have some kind of issue with my, uh, with how I look. Because some people tell me I'm paranoid. It's weird how, you know, different, uh, people make you feel different things. Or different people say different things. I, I, I'm, I'm autistic and I think outside the box. I just do. And I'm not going to apologise for it. Because <laughs> I can't. I'll just keep doing it and doing it and doing it. There's no point. Right. Oh, by the way, guys, that was the eye balm. Just got to find the lid for this. There it is. Let's put that back on. So, yeah, that's pretty much the whole routine, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'll see you again very soon. I look a bit, like, I look a bit slick. Goes in my hair. <laughs> Funny that. Uh, so, yeah. If you have any questions, comments, uh, or, you know, any requests, just tell me down below in the, uh, in the comment section. And always remember to read my description boxes, if ever you do see them. Um, thank you so much for guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!